What's up, guys? We're here for We're the lines.com, playpicks.com, and we are here with the week 13 market rundown. As always, if you're looking for this over on the site, just head to the lines, click on odds, and then it'll take you to right here, whatever state you're in. Be sure and hit that in the drop down as we take a look here on Thursday night football. It is the Dallas Cowboys and the New Orleans Saints. As we sit right now, Dallas Cowboys are four to four and a half point. Road favorites over the Saints. A total is sitting about 47, 47 and a half in this one. Cowboys are looking to get healthy here. Should have Amari Cooper back. Should have CeeDee Lamb back in an offense that really looked disjointed without those guys in there. Even if Ezekiel Elliott sits, Tony Pollard is one of the very best backup running backs in all of the NFL. I think equally as talented as Ezekiel Elliott. So not any of any drop off whatsoever to speak of. For the Cowboys with that, New Orleans Saints look like they're going to turn to Taysom Hill this week as the starter. That seems to be the report coming out from the beat writers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road at the Atlanta Falcons. As we sit right now, this thing is 11, 10 and a half, 11 in favor of the road. Tampa Bay Bucks, total of about 50 and a half in this one. The Bucks look uh, pretty good with a really heavy dose of Gronkowski this past week. Atlanta Falcons get it done against a very bad Jags team, but they do get Cordero Patterson back, and and that guy has been, I mean, the MVP of that team, no doubt about it. A big number here. I I have no interest in wanting to play either uh, either one of these sides. Atlanta Falcons defense is so incredibly bad. Uh, Arizona Cardinals on the road at the Chicago Bears. They come in as seven and a half to eight point road favorites in this one. A total of about 45, 45 and a half in this thing. All conventional wisdom is that the Cardinals are going to have Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins back after they have sat in multiple games. The whole point of them sitting and then taking and then getting the bye here coming out of the bye was for them to be healthy for this stretch run. That seems to be the case here. Who's going to play quarterback for the Bears is still unknown. They were saying they were committed to Justin Fields going. Then all of a sudden they said maybe it could be Andy Dalton because Fields might not be quite ready yet. So that's something we'll be monitoring. And this game is just to make sure that we're going to be getting Kyler Murray and who is going to be playing quarterback there for the Chicago Bears. This seems like an unbelievably awesome teaser leg to get the Cardinals down to under a field goal. Los Angeles Chargers on the road at the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals are now three point to three and a half point home favorites in this one, a total of 50 and a half. When we, uh, when we take a look at this one, boy, guys, this is, this one was on the run. This opened as the Bengals minus one and a half got to two, almost instantly two and a half. Now all the way to three, and you can see it's a juice three. It is heading to three and a half pretty much everywhere in this one. Nobody any confidence in that horrible Chargers defense. And Cincinnati coming out of the bye last week looked like they really had figured some stuff out in that one. Already in my account, but I took the two on Cincinnati Bengals. If you're looking to get the three, you're going to need to move pretty, pretty quickly. Minnesota Vikings on the road. At the Detroit Lions, this total sitting 46 and a half, 47 Vikings, seven point road favorites here in this one. Not going to have Dalvin Cook, but again, kind of like the Dallas Cowboys situation, you got one of the very best backup running backs in all of the NFL. Alexander Madison is nothing you should look at this Vikings team. If you like the Vikings, you should not look at this team as a downgrade at all because Dalvin Cook's not going to be in there. Alexander Madison is awesome. And so his talent level is going to be very, very high for this Falcons team. I mean, Vikings team. So nothing to worry about there. Detroit Lions still winless on the season. Looking to get their first win. I don't think it comes this week. We were talking about awesome teaser legs. How about getting the Vikings down to one point this week? New York Giants on the road at the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins are three-point home favorites. And this one, there is a couple two-and-a-halves, but heavily juiced two-and-a-halves. 41 and a half to 42 is your total here. The Dolphins don't look now, but the Dolphins have won four in a row and um, Giants coming off of a, I mean, let's just call it, I guess you can call it a gritty win 
this past week over the Philadelphia Eagles. They didn't really have to do much. They only scored 13 points in the game. Saquon Barkley had, you know, uh, only 40 yards rushing on 13 carries, but they were able to get it done because the defense was able to stifle uh, the Philadelphia Eagles offense and get some turnovers in there as well. I don't know if that's going to be the case here for this Dolphins team that Tua, by the way, under the radar, has been one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL over the last month. If you go to Pro Football Focus, take a look at their grading system over there, you'll see Tua Tagovailoa's name way up on the list. And I'm telling you, it is, it's an under the radar, really good season going on for Tua there in this Miami Dolphins team. Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Jets. The Eagles are six and a half to seven point road favorites as we sit right now. This total is about 45, 45 and a half. Jets coming off of an outright win over the worst team in the NFL in the Texans. The Eagles, like I said, coming off of that disappointing loss to the Giants. This number seems very, very, very appropriate. I have no interest in playing this game whatsoever. And I know a lot of people probably going to look to put that in a teaser leg. Guess I can't blame you. I probably would not be one of them. Indianapolis Colts and the Houston Texans. Colts are eight and a half all the way to nine and a half point road favorites. In this one, a total of 46. The Colts coming off of a disappointing loss to the Bucs in which they had the lead, weren't able to get anything going in the second half at all. Bucks come all the way back and win that thing. And actually, Colts don't even cover in that game. Texans coming off of a loss outright to the Jets. Texans just have no talent whatsoever. This team, this no, this line is completely appropriate. This thing opened in a look ahead, even was, was sitting in kind of the seven, seven and a half range. Um, obviously a, a massive teaser opportunity there. Now that it's gotten into this number, I think this is really, really right. Of course, a, an eight and a half is still a teaser leg. You get that down to two and a half. If you wanted to play that Washington football team and the Las Vegas Raiders. We're looking at the Raiders as two and a half to three point home favorites over the Washington football team. This total sitting about 48 and a half to 49 Raiders coming off of a big win on Thanksgiving day. And then the Washington football team coming off of a big win on Monday night football. So both teams coming off of big Island game wins here. So Doesn't look like we're getting any sort of inflated line here one way or the other. Both teams in high-profile wins in island games. Washington football team, though, that's three in a row for them. Taylor Heineke looking like he's playing a little bit better football as well for this Washington football team. The Raiders, after uh, struggling mightily, did get something going on the offensive side of the ball. This seems correct to me. Probably won't be in the account one way or the other. Jacksonville Jaguars on the road at the Los Angeles Rams. Jags are 12 and a half to 13 point road underdogs and looking at a total of about 48 in this one. The Rams, I'm sitting back because we're talking about an injury situation with Matthew Stafford and he has looked really bad here of late. We didn't know about this until about Saturday of last week. Then heading into the game, they were talking about he's been battling three to four different injuries there. Elbow injury, arm injury, leg, all all kinds of stuff going wrong with Matthew Stafford. You can see it in his accuracy. You can see it sometimes in in the zip on the ball. And it has equaled a really big slide here for this Rams team. Now, if there is a way to get off of the, the, the proverbial schneid, it is to have the Jacksonville Jaguars come to town. I think the Rams could win this with John Wolford, the backup quarterback, and I do wonder if they're at least considering at all about starting Wolford in this game to give Matthew Stafford some rest because this is a a Rams team that's gone all in looking to try and win the Super Bowl, and you're not going to be able to do that if your quarterback's battling five different injuries, that's for sure. Baltimore Ravens on the road at the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are three to three and a half point road favorites in that one. 44 is your total. Steelers get beat down by Cincinnati last week. Ravens squeak by a Browns team that couldn't get anything going on the offensive side of the ball at all. That said, you did win a game that Lamar Jackson threw four interceptions. So there's something to be said for that. This is appropriate. Um, This Ravens team is definitely better than the Steelers team, but I think there are warts in this Ravens team that people are not, uh, are eventually going to figure out That being said, Steelers had to place TJ Watt on the COVID list. He might not be out there for this game as well. And this is a team that is basically nothing but a defense at this point. Offense is just absolutely atrocious. 
flat three is at least fairly interesting on the Ravens side. 49ers on the road at the Seattle Seahawks. They are three, three and a half point road favorites. This is a total of about 45 and a half. The Seahawks offense continues to look absolutely horrible, continues to look just, I mean, downright atrocious since Russell Wilson has come back from that finger injury. He is definitely not right. All you have to do is watch these games with your eyes. He's missing receivers, not just missing receivers, he's missing receivers by, by five, 10 feet. It's just, uh, it's hard to watch with a guy that is as talented as Russell Wilson, but boy, this is just uh, this is a rough sledding going on right now, a rough situation. 49ers could be without Debo Samuel in this game as well. That being said, they have become kind of a power running game. Now, he has been a part of the run game, but they've, been, they've become really just a power run game, and I think they'll be able to do whatever they need to do to uh, beat the Seattle team with the way that Russell Wilson's playing right now. That's it, three and a hook. It is three and a hook. And you don't have Debo Samuel out there. Do with that what you will. Denver Broncos on the road at the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs are nine and a half to 10 point home favorites. Total of 47, 47 and a half. The Chiefs coming out of a bye. So did they figure something out? Of course, the big question with this Chiefs team was, was just the inconsistencies, not only on the defensive side of the ball, but on the offensive side of the ball, which is way more concerning than it was on the uh, on the was on the defensive side of the ball. It looks like heading into the bye that they have done something on the defensive side to play a little bit better. Okay, uh, Denver Broncos coming off of an easy kind of didn't have to do much win over the Chargers this past week. Chargers just played horrible. Herbert played horrible. That defense for the Chargers is horrible. So again, Broncos didn't have to do much to get the win there. Ten seems a little heavy but probably nothing I'm going to get in the way of. I'd probably be a dog or pass for me, but that game's probably not going to end up in the betting slip. And finally, on Monday Night Football, the game everyone's going to be paying attention to, New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Right now, Patriots in the driver's seat, not only for the number one overall, not only for the division, but for the number number one overall seed as well. They find themselves as two-and-a-half to three-point road underdogs in this one. Buffalo Bills and uh, Josh Allen, come off a big, huge, massive beatdown of the Saints on Thanksgiving Day. A very shorthanded Saints team, something to keep in mind. It was a Saints team playing uh, without, of course, without Jameis Winston, without Alvin Kamara. They haven't had Michael Thomas all year. He just hadn't even going to play at all. Uh, weren't able to have even Mark Ingram out there. There was just a lot of stuff going on with that Saints team. So this is it. This is going to be one of the biggest games, not only of the week, but of the season, because this could go a lot, a long way towards who's going to win this division, who might end up getting the number one seed in the AFC. Lots of things on the line here in this one. This has fallen. The Patriots have taken money. Look ahead was three and a half on this one, all the way through the three you can see at many of the books out there right now. Guys, again, as always, this is constantly changing. You can go ahead and all you do, come to the lines, just click on odds up there. It'll take you to this page. You can Get your drop down to whatever state that you live in. And then also you can take advantage of these awesome sign-up bonuses. Listen, you can see the differences in the numbers, the differences in the juice, all the different things like that. So you need to have multiple outs, whatever state you live in. And so you might as well click on one of these things to get one of these awesome offers, whether it's a deposit match, a risk-free bet, a bet match, whatever it might be. Uh, just a full full out deposit bonus, whatever it could be. You want all that. It's free money that the sports books are giving us. And so you definitely want to take advantage of all of those. If you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All you got to do is be a subscriber to be eligible for our big year end giveaway here on the channel. As always, good luck here in week 13 of the NFL.